Hi, I'm David Elder, and today's show is jam-packed full of low and slow Texas barbecue. Get ready for another barbecue tour across San Antonio. You could be jealous right now, that's okay. We'll be traveling to four different barbecue spots across the Alamo City. Delicious ribs, they also have these rib tips here. We'll be checking out all things brisket, sausage, and tasty sides. All this delicious barbecue, look at all that. So grab a fork and grab a knife. This is Elder Eats. B&B Smokehouse is a barbecue joint on the south side with roots that go back decades. I've been smelling burgers in here since 1958. You can see here in this old sign, my dad, Hal Finley. So this is my dad's original establishment. We added on to the old building became our famous B&B Smokehouse. They are smoking and serving delicious barbecue. Low and slow is the way we do it here. And they're making barbecue sauce from scratch daily. I can't give you the recipe, but it is made in a huge kettle. Their menu is extensive. You do not know what you're missing. Including an off-menu grilled cheese sandwich that is what barbecue dreams are made of. Butter Texas toast gets toasting on the flat top. The bread gets flipped and cheese gets grilled on the outside for a cheesy, crispy layer. Then, covered in shredded cheddar cheese, slow smoked marble brisket, and crispy bacon. More cheese gets added and the sandwich gets covered in barbecue sauce. After it's assembled, the sandwich gets cut in half and is ready to be devoured. Everything looks and smells amazing. So right here, this is the one, y'all. Now this is off the menu, but this is their bacon brisket grilled cheese sandwich. It has cheese on the outside, cheese on the inside, and a ton of brisket and bacon to make you happy. Take a bite out of this bad boy. Coming up, I dive into the B&B Smokehouse grilled cheese sandwich and show off some of my favorite barbecue joints. When you pull on it, it just comes apart. There you go. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. B&B Smokehouse is a Southside barbecue joint serving killer sandwiches, like their off-the-menu grilled cheese packed with bacon, brisket, and shredded cheddar cheese. It has cheese on the outside, cheese on the inside, and a ton of brisket and bacon to make you happy. Oh, wow. The bread is super toasted. The cheese on the outside really gives it a lot of salty flavor. The cheese is nice and melty, but it's holding together really, really well. And then the brisket has great flavor on there. It still has a lot of really rich, fatty goodness to it. Smoke flavor is still coming through. The bacon is crunchy. <laughs> it's delicious. Now, this isn't on the menu. You gotta order it. Just ask for the grilled cheese sandwich with brisket and bacon on it. Also on the menu, a brisket bacon barbecue cheeseburger. Fresh beef patty gets sizzling on the flat top. Then, shredded cheddar cheese and crispy bacon get added on top. The toasted buns get topped with mustard, onions, pickles, lettuce, and tomatoes. The bacon cheeseburger gets added on top of that, and slow smoked marbled brisket finishes the massive burger. This is huge, man. This is a brisket bacon cheeseburger. That's phenomenal. If you're not getting messy, you're not eating it right, I'll tell you that. Everything is so good, and also the new location is beautiful. The barbecue spot features ice-cold draft beer, the biggest chef salad I've ever seen in my life, and a cheese and butter stuff loaded barbecue baked potato. With your option of meat, of course. Alright, now if you're really, really hungry, we're talking next level hungry, you come out here and you get this big old baked potato. They're putting a huge handful of cheese on the inside, butter, and then they're putting it with any kind of meat you want on top. You got some veggies on the side, I don't know why, I'm not going to eat them with it. Just going to eat the butter and the barbecue and the cheese. Oh man. <laughs> That's awesome. Chopped barbecue is amazing. It pairs perfectly with the cheddar cheese that they're putting on here. That butter in the middle, oh wow. B&B Smokehouse is a hit. One of the best reasons to visit other than their food is the quality of customer service. 
smell the smokiness coming off all the meat. It's phenomenal. They really are. They're doing a fantastic job out here. I go to Lockhart when you can come right here, stay in San Antonio, and get this awesome Texas barbecue. Now, we're staying on the south side to check out another barbecue spot, South Barbecue and Kitchen. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. Well, located right here on the south side of San Antonio is the newest barbecue joint to grace the Alamo City. Talking about South Barbecue and Kitchen, we're going to go inside, talk to the pit masters and the owners, and see how they're coming up with all this delicious barbecue and how they're coming up with those great sides that everyone's talking about. Let's go check it out. South Barbecue and Kitchen is the newest barbecue joint on the south side of San Antonio, located right off Mission Road. And yes, the barbecue at South Barbecue and Kitchen is the real deal. When you pull on it, it just comes apart. There you go. The bark on the brisket is well seasoned with salt and pepper, and the meat is flavorful and juicy. Wow, fat is rendered nicely. That bark on there, nice bark. That's great brisket. The barbecued chicken is juicy and has a kick to it. It's got a little spice to it. That's finger licking chicken. That is really good. And the pork ribs and pulled pork are top notch. I'm gonna take all the ribs right now. Try on your brisket and your chicken now and the ribs, y'all the real deal. And another staple of a good Texas barbecue joint. Look at that, pulled pork. Once again, I mean seasoned to perfection on that as well. A traditional approach to the barbecue gets combined with a Tex-Mex influence that's apparent when you try their sides. And check that rice out, nice and fluffy, got a little jiggle to it, right? That is fantastic. Baracho beans. That's every flavor you can think of happening all at once. My soul feels better right now. Check this out, tater tot casserole. That is crazy. That tastes like the ultimate baked potato smashed into like a cup. If you brought this to Thanksgiving, you would throw away the turkey. Creamed elote. All right, so we're gonna go like a little bit of cayenne on top, a little cojita cheese. Coming up, the barbecue journey continues. Garlic, butter, roasted green onions. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. South Barbecue and Kitchen is the newest barbecue joint on the south side of San Antonio, located right off Mission Road. Creamed elote. All right, so we're gonna go like a little bit of cayenne on top, a little cojita cheese. Kind of like your favorite elote, or a little corn in a cup, but creamy style. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's spicy too. A specialty item that they have out here, check this out. Garlic butter roasted green onions. Get out of here. That is really good. Cold green bean salad. You got heirloom tomatoes, cojita cheese, almond slivers, tossed in a red wine vinaigrette. I mean, this is where it's at right here. Oh, wow. That is extremely refreshing. Kitchen manager Manuel Nava creates the sides based on recipes he grew up eating. I moved here almost six years ago. Uh, I attended the Culinary Institute of America, and I've had a lot of good mentors. The old smokehouse got renovated and updated into a brand new barbecue joint by owner Andrew Samia. I think barbecue is the perfect uh, food that can be shared amongst friends, you know, and I think that's the reason why we why we do this uh, and why we cook in the first place is to be able to prepare something, um, put your heart and soul into it, and then sort of share it with those that are close to you. South Barbecue and Kitchen is a win for San Antonio and a must try for barbecue and food lovers alike. You guys gotta come out here, check out South Barbecue and Kitchen here on the south side of San Antonio, cooking up delicious barbecue. Check out that chicken, just delicious. Great seasonings, great people, and the sides are killer. David Elder with SA Live. Well, I'm out here off Austin Highway, one of the best barbecue joints in San Antonio. I'm talking about the Big Bib Barbecue. We're gonna go inside, check out all the delicious food that they have, and see how they've been cranking out delicious barbecue since the year 2000. Let's go inside. The Big Bib Barbecue is the best barbecue in San Antonio, and it's not just because of their brisket and sweet potato casserole. That's amazing. Big Bibs is the best barbecue here in San Antonio. Owner Stanley Shropshire started the barbecue joint back in 2000 out of a car wash parking lot on the east side of San Antonio off MLK Boulevard. From the seasoning 
to the sauces that we uh, put out on the table that goes on to the foods. Everything come from him. His hopes were to provide San Antonio with tasty barbecue and inspire Eastside residents to think big when it comes to their future. I work for an amazing owner. I have an amazing team that works with me and we're all the best. This is an amazing rub that uh, Mr. Stanley himself has come up with. The barbecue joint has won almost every local award you can think of and is being ran by pit master Tamu Gonzalez, one of the few successful black female pit masters in Texas and surrounding states. I come from an amazing family. Tamu is a San Antonio native who grew up on the east side of San Antonio. My dad was a really good barbecue person as well too and we used to love watching him barbecue and his food was amazing. Coming up, the barbecue journey continues. That's a good brisket right there. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. The Big Bib Barbecue is the best barbecue in San Antonio, and it's not just because of their brisket and sweet potato casserole. That is amazing. From the brisket. That's a good brisket right there. To their turkey meat collard greens. Mm, that really is, that is fantastic. It's no wonder why the Big Bib is a hit. If you come once, you'll come back. So come on back to Big Bib. Delicious ribs. They also have these rib tips here. Usually thrown away at a lot of places. They cut them off and they actually serve them here. Cobbler, also made in-house right here. Something new that the Big Bib just added to their menu. Check it out, cornbread. Come on. That's good cornbread. Green beans, they got chunks of sausage inside of them. Traditional pinto beans. Banana pudding. I'm gonna go take a nap now. The team at the Big Bib are proud to serve their customers and the sense of family make it feel like you're at home. Come to the Bib! Oh, I love me some Big Bib. Oh. <laughs> I got my own knock, knock. <laughs> Chances are you've already been here and chances are you know that they've won every single award that you could possibly win here in San Antonio for food and barbecue. But there's so much more than that and it's everything that they put into their food, their customer service, and just the overall community that they bring in supporting the east side. So that's why they're number one. And, and the chicken, the chicken's delicious. Keep eating San Antonio for SA Live. I'm David Elder. It's David Elder with SA Live. Well, today on Elder Eats, I'm taking you guys to the east side of San Antonio to go get some delicious smoked meat sandwiches and some great food. I'm talking about Dignity Meats over here. Let's go check it out. Dignity Meats is an east side barbecue joint known for their smoked meats and ethnic barbecue sandwiches, like their burnt and melt. Smoked brisket, burnt ends, cheddar mac and cheese, and sliced pear get layered inside of a fresh ciabatta bun and covered with barbecue sauce. Then, the outrageous barbecue sandwich gets pressed and sliced. I'm so excited. Look at this. Mm. Oh wow, all that extra cheddar on top is so cheesy. This right here, this sandwich is what makes this place special. Now that's a barbecue sandwich right there. Also on the menu, a beef knuckle sandwich topped with melted cheddar cheese, house-made jardinier, and a horseradish mayo on ciabatta. Tons of cheese. He's all melty, this bad boy is, and I'm, I'm just excited. I'm gonna hop in on this. Oh, man. The jardinier does a really great bite to it. Adds that extra little bit of acidity that cuts through that, that fat from the cheese and a little bit from that meat there, but that meat sliced so thin, and everything is just melty. That's just goodness. And the Cajun smoked turkey caprese sandwich is a deli classic with the punch of flavor. And if you're looking for something a little bit on the lighter fare, right, you want some turkey, they have that too. It looks healthy, right? New year, new you. Oh, wow. Coming up, the barbecue journey continues. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. Loaded baked potato is every barbecue lover's dream. A baked potato gets crammed with whipped butter, sharp cheddar mac and cheese, their dreamy brisket burnt ends, sour cream, cheddar cheese, and topped with green onions and freshly sliced jalapenos. It's just gooey. You could be jealous right now, that's okay. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> 
will transport you somewhere special. Everything on here is delicious. That mac and cheese that's made in-house, that is phenomenal. It has those jalapenos and the chives, so it really lends itself to have a fresh kick to it as well. Venture on over to the east side for this over-the-top smoked meat deli and get your hands on these juicy barbecue sandwiches and a loaded baked potato. So you guys gotta come out here at Dignity Meats right here off of Houston Street on the east side. Delicious food, the burnt end milk. Grab yourself an ice cold beer, belly up to the bar, watch some great TV, man. I'm telling you, you just come out here and enjoy yourself. Get some great food. This is where it's at, burnt end milk. <laughs>